Let's go. Not hitting a guy dressed like Joseph? The beard's off, Roger. How many excuses do you want to pull out, man? Oh, no. This is stupid. I don't even get it. Why go on a trip when Mary's about to have a baby? What's so damn important? You gotta go to Bethlehem in the middle of the night. It was the census, okay? We covered that in Sunday school. Megan, what is going... Did you get into the eggnog? Hey, we got for some IHOP. Oh, yeah, that kid's pickled all right. Oh, I'm the prettiest. Can we go to IHOP? Uh, I'm sorry, folks, having some technical difficulties. Great, Dad. Now you've broken the fourth wall. None of it's real, folks. I want to go in the car. Give me the keys, Brad. No, I'm not giving you the keys to the car because you're drunk and you're a child. Nobody likes your dumb, stupid Brad voice. You smell like pumpkins. Oh, and you're a mean drunk. The kid's got an arm. Drunk nine-year-old. Real nice parenting. You better watch her, Roger. <laughs> oh! Adriana. Is she okay? okay is she? What is she? Oh, what a shock. Now we know where Megan got the eggnog. You always assume she's the bad influence. Maybe your daughter play my daughter with alcohol. Maybe your daughter's that way because her mother is a shoplifter. Shoplifter. Sarah, we've been working on the shoplifting thing, okay? But that's got nothing to do with Adriana being such a little nightmare all the time. My daughter is not a nightmare. Come on, Adriana. No, sweetheart, I didn't mean that. Honey. Hey. Would you call my daughter? He called her a nightmare. Hey, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a heathen. Let's take this outside. Yeah, let's step outside the manger. Let's call her a nightmare. Here we go. Now, now boys, we, we can't just leave. Joseph and the innkeeper rumble outside the manger. Man, yeah. Man, yeah. The yeah. Man, kick his ass, Joseph. Man, you're not going to do this in front of the children. Now, what kind of fathers are you, anyway? Oh, that's rich. Coming from a guy who lies to his son for six months. Maybe that's why everyone thinks your stories are so delightful, because they're all lies. <gasps> Sarah, get the kids out of here, OK? Happily. I don't want them watching this anyway. Have fun, morons. Pancakes, bitches! You do not say bitches. Right, kids are gone. Let's go. Not hitting the guy dressed like Joseph. The beard's off, Roger. How many excuses do you want to pull out, man? Oh, no. Beard's off. You know what, Brad? Done! Yes! I lied, because whenever there's anything wrong in your life, if it isn't roses and rainbows, will you completely fall apart? I thought we had an honest relationship. Oh, yeah? Brad, I bet you never told him about that procedure you had last year, did you? Oh, my God, what procedure? Uh, it was nothing. Uh, just some benign tissue. How about that? You're both a couple of lying sacks. And you, from the minute you got here, you've been nothing but mean and sarcastic. Well, you know what, Kurt? F you! <gasps> Dad. That's right. Forget you! Atta boy, Swami, throwing down F-words. Not the F-word, but an F-word, and that's a good start. Now, come on, give me the finger. Big boy, come hey, on. Hey, hey. Come on. Are we gonna still fight or what? Wait, Roger brings up a good point. Let's get the momentum back. Come on, Roger. Yeah, yeah, come no, on, no, get no, some. No, get no, in no, there. Come on. No, 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 no. If you lay one hand on each other, whether the kids are here or not, it will negatively impact them. <sighs> All right. I'm not gonna lay a hand on them. What are you doing? Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowball fight. Yeah. Oh, snowball. Let's say hey, I've got some Nerf guns in the back of my car. You want me to get them? I pitched AAA for the Red Sox in their farm system, Roger. Don't say I didn't warn Take you. Take your best shot. Dad! Don, I'm sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Thank you.